Hey, boys and girls, it's time for the children's sermon. And so I invite you to um, have your attention toward the television. Um, and as you're making your way in front of the TV, um, I'm going to take just a second to make a quick phone call. OK, so um, I want to call my friend, Pastor David. Let's see what he's up to. Hello? Pastor David? Yeah. Hey, it's Pastor Doug over at church. Well, hey, Pastor Doug. What's up? Uh, well, um, I was just wondering what you're doing. Well, uh, I was taking a nap, but, you know, I had to get up to answer the phone. Well, uh, sorry to wake you up. Um, what you doing later? Um, well, I don't know. Didn't have anything particular planned. Did you have something in mind? No, no. I just, just wanted to catch up. Just wanted to say, hey. Oh, uh huh. well, um, hey. Yeah, hey, um, what'd you have for breakfast? Um, well, let's see. Uh, I had an oatmeal bar, I think. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, um, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll see you around. Well, okay. Anything else? Um, nothing I can think of. Oh, okay. Well, um, do call again. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Do any of you ever um, get like me on the phone where you're talking maybe to your grandparents or to a friend and you're on the phone and you don't really know what to say? Um, sometimes I get like that. Sometimes I get that way with prayer. Like, I know I need to talk to God, but I don't know what to say. Now, there are certain times a day where it's pretty easy. So like at mealtime, um, you know, we learn special prayers like God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Um, so I've, I, I know what to say at mealtime and at, and, and at bedtime. Um, I learned now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. So I know what to say. At nighttime, too. I know what to say at mealtime and I know what to say at nighttime, but I know I need to talk to God more than just mealtimes and nighttime. And sometimes I don't know what to say. Have you ever been like that? Well, Jesus taught us a prayer that we can say anytime. In fact, his disciples came up to him and said, Jesus, teach us how to pray. And he said, this is how you should pray. Pray like this. Say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. He said, that's a prayer you can pray anytime. At mealtime, at nighttime, at morning time, and school time, at play time, and church time. Wherever you are, you can pray that prayer. Jesus says, this is a great way to pray. So when you don't know what to say to God, but you feel like I, I need to talk to God. Maybe just let the words of the Lord's Prayer, that prayer that Jesus taught, be your words to God. Isn't that a great idea? Why don't you try that during the week? Try that with your parents. Try that with your grandparents. OK, pray with me now. Gracious God, thank you for teaching us how to pray. Thank you for giving us the Lord's Prayer as a model prayer. Lord, help us to pray more often each and every day. 
In Jesus' name, amen.